Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is episode 8 of Duconia and we have some changes for to show you guys today and I am really looking forward to this episode. There's just going to be updates. Uh, if you guys want to see me building, you can watch my live streams. Those are over on my live stream playlist if you couldn't tell. And I've been uploading a lot of those lately. And I'm sure a lot of you are probably getting burnt out on watching those daggone live streams. But I've been live streaming a lot. And instead of just throwing them away, why is, might as well just upload them over to YouTube. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying them. I want a general, I want a general, um, like, what do you guys think about that? All those live streams here on YouTube. Like, I don't want to flood your subscriptions with my live streams but I mean I feel it makes it makes sense so anyways they're there if you want to watch them if you don't want to watch them that's fine uh, but these updates are here just to show you guys everything that's happening in the world and hopefully you guys will enjoy this episode uh, nonetheless so first but not uh, least this is probably a really neat thing that we've been doing is we added in some really neat new textures to the game First, we added in fish scale muddy cobble. The way that you make it is you do two slabs just like that. And same thing with stone brick, spruce, dark oak, jungle wood, and oak wood. All of these now have, when you put double slabs on top of each other, they now make these really neat pillars and textures like this. We're probably going to be adding two, we're probably gonna make um, two smooth stone slabs and two uh, cobble slash cornerstone so that I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna redo all of my buildings but you know for other people that want to use the cornerstone they can do that but we're probably gonna do add some cornerstone maybe use dark slate for brick I don't know we also changed all those default windows to this right here the arched fancy glass I really like that so much more it works so much better for the genre of building that we're going with we also changed biomes here this here we added recently this is the uh the steel like all of these are extreme hills textures but now these are flat across the board this is the texture that you will get this is coarse dirt this is a extreme hills trap door this is what cauldrons for now on are going to look like and that's what for furnaces are going to for now on look like now if you guys want these textures for yourself this is a custom edit of conquest that we are using if you want this texture for yourself, you're gonna have to ask Monsterfish to provide you a download. Uh, I already asked him and I'm pretty sure he said no, but uh, if you guys want it, you're gonna have to ask him. Otherwise, uh, there's nothing I can do. Uh, but anyways, if you guys want this building edit, we're not complete though. We're still gonna be making edits in the future and hopefully we can make this pack fantastic um, in the end. So yeah, there are a lot of edits and a lot of things. Not to mention the changes that we have done here. Um, I'm going to get you guys the ultimate view first before we, um, you know, just kind of roll around and uh, go to the place that we're uh, we need to go. So I will be right back, and I'm going to show you guys what's been going on. Alrighty, check it out, guys. We have added just small things, you know, just just a greenhouse, a chapel, a library, and a bell tower. Yeah, it's not much. Uh, we might have demolished the garden back here, but overall, this is the major changes that we have done to our manor as of recent. This week has been a busy week. I have been streaming quite a bit, have gotten a lot done, and I am really happy with the progress that we have made. I really wanted a building over here. I really wanted a library stuck on the end here, and I'm really, I really think that what we put here really works. And um it's just fantastic i love what we have done if you guys want to see me building all of this you can just watch the live streams i title the live streams, so if you want to watch something specific like me being building the library you can find that in the title me building the bell tower find that in the title the greenhouse etc the sept now i think most of you are probably going to be most interested in the sept this is um themed off of a game of thrones sept i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with game of thrones but uh, a sept is to the seven divines of their faith of the uh, the mainstream faith more or less and they usually build them in round churches such like this and so this is our chapel technically we have a cross up there so that's you know sort of signifying christianity i'm a templar or at least my skin is a templar 
also my cape is you know the cross and everything so anyways that's that's just the stuff I like and so that's that's why I put a cross up there it's just more of a symbol same thing with the banners it's a cross a little bit more stylized but it works so this is the inside of the chapel here I really like what we came up where is that oh, I hate those zombies and sounds and things but this is the inside of our chapel. We have a cupola up there. It's an air vent for all the smoke from these candles to vent out. Um, we have the acacia wood up there. We have the border between here. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off my sounds so that you guys don't have to hear that. And then over here, um, obviously we have the, the chandelier. Those are chain fence or chain uh, what do you call them? Iron bar pieces that look sort of like a chain. Really like how that looks. This here is a sort of like a little pool of holy water in the middle. And again, we have those carved woods to stylize the building in as a whole. So I really like how this turned out. The floor is checkered with dark oak and uh, birch wood. Again, um, I just really like how this turned out. It really, really does look nice. Now in this shader, you can it's the windows are kind of glitchy, but I'm telling you guys, in here when the sun's over there and in the other CUDA shaders, this place looks really, really nice. In fact, let me go ahead and do that really quick. Check it out, guys. That is what it looks like. This chapel looks so nice with the, uh, the shaders, like inside. Now the roof looks a little too vibrant, in my opinion, in the shaders, and everything is a little bit dark, but I mean, looking through the windows and everything, that's so nice. I am right now using the version 6.480 CUDA shaders. Now, I like to use the 5.0.4 shaders. The latest download you're going to be, be able to find is 5.0.6. Um, now, the reason why I like 5.0.4 more, look how vibrant it is outside. Like, this looks neon. Everything looks neon and annoying. It doesn't really fit Conquest as well. Now, let me show you the difference when I change over to 5.0.4. Bam. We have a darker feel. It just feels more natural. The lighting doesn't feel as Nintendo. Like this, this actually feels like a proper shader. Anyways, the you can find that download pretty much. You know, just Google CUDA shaders 5.0.6, 5.0.4 was not available. I've looked, but uh, unfortunately, it's not available. I I couldn't find it anywhere. So, um, anyways, this here is the inside of the greenhouse. This is, uh, I really like how this turned out. I mean, this this really works uh, wonders in my opinion. Uh, you, uh, it's like the flowers in here. This is ex almost exactly how I sort of envisioned and kind of, you know, the plan I had for this. And it really worked out. So I really like what we did in here, the flowers and everything. I might add some more details like cauldrons of water things of that nature uh, I really again with the also with the glass up there if we had the normal default glass or the vanilla conquest glass it just wouldn't have this look but with that lattice it really looks nice in my opinion I um, really like how that turned out so that is the greenhouse let me turn the music sounds back up so we don't have to run around like uh, we don't hear anything like we're deaf so uh, let me do it a little bit more not quite loud enough there we go so this is the inside of the library this library building this is the office in here where the master of the manor will be the upstairs is going to be the library he's a scholarly individual so he's gonna want lots of books and all his books are gonna be upstairs this is only gonna be a two-story building uh, it's gonna be lots of open rafters up there uh, but this is going to be a floor in between and that's going to be this down here is going to be the office This is going to be more or less the waiting room right here for when people come to visit him And then obviously this is the bell tower the chain to pull the bell tower is going to or the bell up above is going to be right there That's going to go all the way up Really looking forward to adding that in. all this is going to be furnished and stuff Really looking forward to that now. I like this over here a lot I like this side, we added a bay window right there. If you guys are under, unsure what that is, it's like a sort of like a jutting out portion of a wall of a building, sort of just, you know, just exactly how it looks is a bay window. Um, that's what a bay window is. And then we added, that's where the bell is gonna be up there where there's those four holes. Then we have you know the larger windows there, etc. And I really like how this turned out. We're not gonna actually go all the way up there. I'm just gonna show you something really quick. Uh, we're gonna go upstairs. And I'm going to show you also a little bit of interior 
work that we have done and here you can see we've finished not finished but we've at least um, put the, the ceiling in and the walls the floor still needs to be done but this is going to be the lady's solar in here uh, this is where the lady can sort of have her private chambers her area where she can have peace and quiet from her snoring husband and uh, be all together just in peaceful bliss more or less but yeah that's what this room is all about it's going to be furnished obviously right now uh, it's not i've made the walls all too thick now let me tell you why the only way that we can have really fancy interior like this is if we have too thick walls that's why all of this is too thick everything in this building is too thick except for like you know these center walls of course they're not too thick but from the ex anything that's facing the exterior except for the tower over here the tower over here is only one thick that's a mistake that i shouldn't have done i should have made it smaller but or a little bit bigger you know one layer outside but i did not uh, i might just go ahead and fill it in on the inside i'll make the space smaller but at least it'll be more interesting so this is the master's bedroom again the floor is not going to be like this and then this is going to be another library this here is a secret getaway um, you can just imagine all these bookcases there and then maybe like one of the bookcases can sort of go back and this leads right down into the cellars down below this is the granary this is going to be full of grain in here eventually and this also is going to branch off to probably the his office over in the library building and then it's also going to lead off into maybe like a, the fields or something as a secret getaway in case uh, someone's coming to kill him or take his family or something like that so that is the whole idea of that this is his closet and then if we go over here he has the kids room over there that leads up to the attic but there's nothing up there yet so we're gonna do a lot of work up there probably uh, within this week or next week or something like that we'll see now in here I am unsure what I want to do I really don't know what we should put in here if any of you have suggestions let me know I'm thinking of putting maybe a spinning gin in here maybe making it sort of like a place where they take cotton from their harvested flock of sheep and then you know they're sheared the sheared sheep and maybe they uh, do some cotton spinning up here or something I'm not completely sure that's probably the best best way to use this room is to put some kind of industrial output in here some kind of making so if any of you have ideas let me know this area is going to be closed off right here and I'm going to make stairs to get down right here and that's going to lead down to the stables down below actually let me go down there this down here is where it's going to go up I'm going to probably work on this area a little bit and then we're going to make stairs that go up to there uh, that way we can utilize this space more efficiently versus just leaving it as sort of open and bland as it is right now. So back up here, I don't think there's really anything else to show to be honest, but I'm just going to do one last run through, show you guys. So and if you guys feel like you missed anything, um, this is one last look and we're going to head outside now and we're going to get a view of the library and the tower from the outside. I love how this looks guys I love how this look I'm so glad I added that bell tower in this uh, that library there all that dirt that you see is going to be white clay eventually maybe even gray clay I'm unsure probably white clay to make it seem a little bit more a little bit more bright and interesting again also that chapel over there that really stands out really makes it look nice now the neat thing is the architecture is a mix you know, you sort of have a Mediterranean, French chateau kind of style. Then you like have this Germanic sort of like German, French style, etc. Um, you know, this is like a Mediterranean Roman style. And then so you can imagine like this manor has been passed down generation after generation. And then possibly different architectural styles have been implemented into the build as families pass down. Uh, from generation I think that's a really neat um, sort of you know just sort of shows you how things you know, sort of work out I really like how that tower look turned out and uh, overall the manor is really starting to form uh, obviously you guys are gonna say oh no crying 2.0 no don't don't expand anymore we are going the last thing I'm gonna be doing it's gonna be actually pretty major um, we might actually start it this week I don't know though so don't hold me on that but this all is going to be a winery here 
eventually. It's going to be the main export of this manor is a winery. That's that's why it's so rich. Now, obviously, it's going to have vast lands of you know different fields. There's going to be some sheep, some kind of somewhere in a pasture, things like that. Um, it's going to be a vast, vast land. So now that we've gotten ourselves updated here on um, Hedgefordshire Manor. That is what this is officially called, Hedgefordshire Manor, named by Vasa Plays. He's a one of my viewers over on Twitch. He uh, suggested that, and I was like, "Hey, let's go with that." So, Hedgefordshire Manor. That is uh, what we're going to call this. So, anyways, we're going to make our way over to um, the other people that are on the server. Uh, we have some new, new people. One, we have Umnum, which is way over there. We have Moosey the Moose, which is over. He's building a wizard tower. Umnum is building a Norman keep. Sir Isaac, which is over here, hasn't really done much recently. Von Tool has done a little bit. Um, and then Kurgon, Red, Red Ranger and Kurgon are now part of the server. And then again, F Whips, his monastery is really coming along. So what I'm going to do, since you guys haven't seen the way to Umnum yet, I'm gonna make a quick time lapse of that and then uh, we will go check him out. Entered into Lan Landolbrin, heart of the eastern riverlands. This is Umnum's Norman style castle that he has been working on. I am really, really excited for what he has planned here. But here's Umnum right here. Um, this is looking really, really nice. Oh, this is actually his armor stand. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. That actually looks like a legit armor stand. That looks great for survival. But this here is his uh, keep. He has a lot of really interesting plans here. It's going to be very defensive. Uh, this is the gatehouse. It looks like I guess that's his emblem, the the rose the rose petal there. I think that really is going to look nice. I wonder if he's going to reach this moat all the way around. That would look really nice in my opinion. But as you can see, it's the four tower design of a keep that you would typically see for a Norman style castle. Um, looks really nice in my opinion. I really want to see this uh, develop more. It looks like he's starting already on the whole, uh, what do you call it, the whole texturing already. You know, I, I always build my entire build out of cobble and then I come back through and texture. But maybe this is a better way of doing it. But I just feel like it's harder to tell the gradient if you haven't already built the full height and everything. So. Anyways, this is going to look fantastic. Really excited for this. I'll post the information or the inspiration that Umnum is uh, drawing from to build this castle. But yeah, this is his keep. He has a little cute house down here for his little starter house. I'm pretty sure his bed's in there and stuff. But, um, but yeah, a little hobbit hole it looks like. Really cute. Really like how that looks. Um, but yeah, he has some really neat field sort of uh, things going on here. Um, he has a whole thing of llamas and uh, a donkey in there. I really like what's going on here. Really, really, really excited for Umnum's build. So um, we're actually going to make our way back to the place now. Uh, but yeah, that's Umnum's place. You guys will definitely get an update on that next episode. And now we're going to actually go over to Moose and the Moose's place. I really like his place as well. I don't think you guys have seen this yet, but we actually have filled in half the pond already. This is actually something we had done recently. Uh, the island here in the middle and everything. I don't think you guys have seen this yet. Not that I, not to my knowledge at least. But um, I'm actually really happy how it turned out. We're going to be putting some more detail underwater. And there's a lot of work that still needs to be done, but uh, we will be finishing this up. 
I really like all these reeds around. This is part of the better foliage mod that I have installed. It's a client side mod. Really looks nice. Now, something I want to do really quick. Okay, so it is on 24. Um, we're going to go over to Moosey's place now, which is right over here. Um, again, I'll do a quick time lapse so that you guys can see the way. It's really quite close if we follow this sand trail right here. But the really neat thing is, watch this. Now I know it may not look like much yet, but I am really excited for the progress of this build. I mean, already I'm seeing just the how spectacular this is. I mean, as you're walking up this path, it's so organic. You feel like it's legit, like, you know, a wizard tower because it sort of wraps all the way around. It has that really sort of wizardy feel when you're walking up it. Now this is the inside here. There's not really not much here yet. That's pretty obvious. There's going to be more eventually. But the cool thing is, is look at this. You can see the manor from here. Um, that just, you know, that just boggled my mind. Like this, this really has a fantastic view of Duconia from up here. Let me go up to the top. I think he's going to cone this roof up here. I don't think it's going to be flat top. Pretty sure it's going to be coned. Uh, it better be. But anyways. That is our manor over there. Just imagine looking at this and then all those fields around. We're going to have all vineyards over there. Um, we're going to have all kinds of wheat fields. Of course, that pond there is going to be a big tree in the middle. Uh, that barn is going to be little houses. Like that little sand pillar there is going to be a house. Uh, same thing with that sand pillar over there. It's going to be a village and you know, different things like that. There's going to be a lot of different details and stuff around here. And again, you can see over here. Oh man, I'm just so excited for this. There's so many neat things going on. So now this is, of course, this is Moosey's place. You guys have seen it. Now the best way to get down is right from here. Let me see if I can jump. See, I love this. You know, you just, you know, you don't have to waste your time going down. It's so easy. Anyways, now we're going to make our way east and we are going to head over to, I'm sorry, we're going to go west. And we're gonna head over to Kurgon and Whip's place, uh, Kurgon and Red's place. But we're gonna stop at Whip's place on the way. Uh, before that, we're gonna stop at Vaughn's place. So I will see you guys soon. Okay, so there has been a few updates over here. Vaughn has built a tavern here on the junction that goes. It's gonna be this leads to Whip's place up there. And this leads over to Vaughn's place down there. Now this is a neat tavern that he's been building. I think it's gonna really look nice here. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit more work, but I think that uh, he, once he details it up and adds in some uh, interior to that, that's gonna look fantastic, the details around. Now I really love this over here. Like just look how atmospheric that is. Those fields with the, sunfl the sunflowers there. I can't wait to get to doing details like that. I mean, that just looks so nice, the way he did that. Um, now, if we go over here, this is like a little stables he's been working on, little bits of details, lots of TNT in there. Better not um, hit that with a redstone torch or we could have some issues. Now, I don't think there has been any progress over this way. No, there hasn't. There's been nothing going on over at his place. If you guys wanna see his place, it's on the last episode. There isn't much yet, so um, it looks like he's mainly been focusing on over here. Now, it looks like he and Isaac have just been a little bit busy from the whole um, you know, New Year's, Christmas week, etc. So that's probably why there hasn't been as much progress as others, but um, they are definitely doing a fantastic job, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do in the weeks to come. So now we're gonna head up to Whip's place and see what he's up to. So Whip has started on the Whip Road here. There's a bridge. Now this is quite a ways down the road. He's been doing just a little bit of progress. Um, but yeah, that's the closest bridge to him. And now we're gonna keep making our way down this way and we'll, we'll eventually get up to his basic, basic road right up here. As you can see, it's sort of lined out and now we're hitting the road and then the texturing will come up here. 
So now we're coming up on Whip's place. For those of you that are wondering, Whip is a YouTuber as well. He has a YouTube channel that you guys can check out and go see what he is building. Um, but he is building this monastery right here. And I think that you guys would really like to watch this because he has some great content uh, building this thing. And he will be streaming soon. So if you guys are interested in watching more builders streaming, uh, definitely go check him out. He is over on YouTube and uh, the links will be in the description below. But there isn't too much to see on the inside yet. I do think the tower is maybe a bit too tall. I would probably shorten it in another 10 blocks or so, maybe 15 blocks, I don't know. But overall, this is the inner courtyard here. You got a little tower over there, things like that. But this is actually looking pretty nice. I really like what his monastery is turning into. And I'm sure you guys like it as well. So go check him out. His YouTube channel and his Twitch channel are in the description below. Now this road leads over to Kurgan in red. Now since you guys again have not seen the way there, I am going to do a quick time lapse of our way there. seemingly on the far end of the world but this is where Kurgan and Red Ranger are building their settlement not quite sure what their plans are they aren't sure themselves it seems but they have a house so far a little place a little starter house that they can start out in and then I'm pretty sure they're gonna be building something up this way because they have a bridge right there as you can see so I'm anxious to see what their plans are uh, not quite sure what's gonna happen with all this, but if they are gonna build something, I know it's gonna be pretty fantastic. But uh, looking forward to seeing what they do. They got a few chickens in there, a few farms, you know, things like that. Uh, but there's really isn't, isn't anything here spectacular, or spectacular yet. But I'm sure at the end of this week they'll have some more to show. But uh, this is Red Rangers and um, their place. Now let me show you sort of the map how we've traveled as you can see this is the road going down there and then this is all going to be a stone road everything that's right here as you can see all that sand line is going to be this stone road it's going to head all the way to there the stone road leads to there and also the stone road is going to lead up to ice ache all right and then we're going to have dirt roads leading off we're going to have a dirt road to moose as you can see this is where moose is and then we're going to have a dirt road out to Uminum which is gonna be right about here, which is gonna lead all the way to there. We're probably gonna make this a little straighter, we'll probably just cut right through the woods there instead of you know following the, the banks of the, uh, the lake there. But um, this is Uminum's fort so far. Really looking forward to seeing what becomes of that. And also guys, I found gravel heaven. There's an ocean over here. I need so much gravel and uh, now it's really easy to come by. Um, like I said, Isaac hasn't really done anything recently, so there's really not too much to see up there. But uh, we're going to head back to the manor now, uh, and we're going to bring it into the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, uh, there's a lot more to see in the future, hopefully. But anyways, uh, let's get back to my manor, and then we'll um, say our goodbyes. So there is just a couple last things that I wanna say, guys. First of all, I just wanna thank you guys so much for being so awesome. You guys have been such an encouragement. All the encouraging comments on these videos, all you guys are saying is, Dukan, try this, Dukan, try that. And it's, it's awesome to be able to mingle with you guys, especially when I'm streaming, you guys are providing me with some ideas. And that is so cool. That is so cool to be able to talk with you guys and to do it with you. That is one of the most amazing parts about this build. We just reached 3,000 subscribers over on Twitch recently. I know I said that earlier, but I just wanted to say that again. That's just amazing. It's just fantastic. We're almost at 13,000 here on YouTube. 
the growth is very visible. It's it's happening. I can see it, and it is definitely encouraging to watch the progress. And again, I want to thank each one of you for being there and for being um, the for making this possible. If you didn't view the videos, you know why would I make videos, etc. Uh, there's been some great. Uh, great times on this channel and I'm just enjoying this time so much so I hope that we keep it up I hope that we keep the excitement up and keeping the progress coming uh, and crying will be coming soon I'm so excited for that uh, it's being converted over to the mod and if you guys are interested in helping the conquest reforged team they are in need of people that are going to help pl uh, make plugins for the server if you are at all interested or if you know anything about making Java plugins I'm not quite sure what they what they are exactly the specifications of what they need but they need plugins for their server custom plugins to work uh, with their with the mod with everything that they're using I think they're using SpongeForge if I'm not mistaken and it's just a lot of work in the background if you guys are interested in that go ahead and check them out and put it in a application I guess or something I'm not sure what they quite want but go over to their discord and ask if you want to be a part of the conquest community and be a part of getting the reforged community the conquest community more established definitely go over to their discord uh, the link will be in the description below you got to go to their website and then their discord will be on the right side down you know, down a bit and you just gotta join their Discord, and then they will tell you what they what you can do if you are interested in helping out. Uh, but they are definitely gonna need the help. So, um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much. If you want to help with the, the mod, go check them out. And uh, crying is actually officially converted already. It has been converted. I just need to go back through and work on some biomes and things. And then once we get all that figured out, then I'll be going back through and um, we'll be finishing it up and removing some things, adding some things. You know how it goes. So again, thank you guys so much. You are awesome. I am looking forward to this coming week and hopefully we'll be able to get a lot done. So this is Dukan signing out. Uh, bye bye.